to Minerva and another one of our tutorials. My name is Joan Ellis and today I'm really happy to be with you and share some of my favourite patterns that have fabulous sleeves. So today's tutorial is all about having a look at some patterns with some great sleeve options and then the fabrics that I think would work really well with those patterns and why I've selected that particular fabric for that pattern. So let's hop on in and have a little look at what I've chosen. So to start us off on our sleeve journey today, I've chosen two patterns from Style Arc. Both of them we stock at Minerva and we stock them in two different size variations. So there's one size variation that goes from sizes 4 to 16 and then there's a second variation that comes in the 18 to 30 size range. So you can see we've got a really broad um, side range so we should be able to find a pattern to fit all our body shapes. Now the first pattern I've chosen is the Emmy dress. And I chose this one because it's a great easy style for beginners because you can see you've got this grown on sleeve so you haven't got to worry about um, fitting a sleeve at head into an armhole. Your sleeve is grown on to your body section and I think you could have great fun with this style mixing and matching different colours because you've got this central seam across the middle. Now I've chosen a chambray from the Minerva range and I've just got a plain grey um, chambray here with the coordinating um, little gingham check and I think that would make a really fab classic summer dress. Um, this particular fabric comes in a wide range of um, colour coordinating colours so you could go pink, blue, green, black, whatever colour you like but you could make a fab little emmy dress out of those fabrics or why not come up, up with your own combination and share it with us on the Minerva website. So my second choice of style arc pattern is the Hendy designer dress. I chose this one because I think it's got a really interesting sleeve. We've got the bat wing shape but when your arm's down, you've got this lovely cowling that's happening um, on the side seam um, under your arm. And we've got some lovely style lines and useful patch pockets. So I think what's not to like about this dress? And in particular, again, you haven't got to worry about setting in a sleeve um, because your sleeve are part of the um, grown on style of the bodice. Now, because we need some lovely drapey fabric to make this design work really well, I've chosen this Modal and polyester based jersey. At Minerva, we carry this in a wide range of colours, so you'll be spoilt for choice. And you can see the lovely drape on this fabric that's going to work really, really well for this Hendy style. So moving on then from our two dresses which had grown on sleeves, I wanted to share with you some styles that either have a set in sleeve or a raglan sleeve and patterns that have several different options within the same pattern. So the first one I wanted to share with you is Simplicity's pattern 8875, which I think is a great summer dress pattern. Um, and you can see here within this pattern, you've got four variations of different sleeve that you could go for. So it's a great pattern to buy and mix and match um, how you make up that style. So if we just have a little look at the sleeve options we've got here, we've got um, in our main picture here, we've got a short sleeve um, which has a fitted head to the sleeve with just a few few gathers um, and then um, at the base of the sleeve the cuff has been pulled in to create this slight puffed effect on the sleeve 
You've got a long sleeve here with a um, gathered base and very narrow cuff to it. You've got this frilled version which just caps um, the, the shoulder. So no real sleeve as such, but a kind of frill come cap that, that just covers the shoulder. And then you've got this pretty um, bell bottom, short bell bottom sleeve here with kind of a fluted base to it. So you've got lots of different options um, within the same pattern. Now to make up this style, you're going to need something that um, is reasonably floaty to give you the drape of, of the dress and allow you to produce the, the gathers around the base of the dress if you go for that, but something that will also gather nicely um, around the head of the sleeve. So I've chosen this lovely polyester. Um, it's a bit of like got a bit of a peach skin um, finish to it, and it's in this pretty um, delicate little print, and I think would work really well in this style because it's got a little bit of body that's going to hold um, the shape and the puff of the sleeve if you choose to go for that um, but it's soft enough that it's going to gather up um, to create this kind of ruffled effect without looking too bulky. So that's my choice for simplicity 8875. Moving on from that, I absolutely love um, a raglan sleeve. I think a raglan sleeve um, can be easier to fit around the shoulder and the arm. Um, so if you're um, new to um, making garments, fitting them and putting in a sleeve, this might be a great one um, for you. So here we've got a lovely um, empire line dress. We've got quite a full skirt, um, but we've got um, quite a straight sleeve. So for this, I've chosen this gorgeous, and you can see the beautiful colours in this print. Um, I've chosen this gorgeous print. It has got a bit of a firmer feel to it. Um, so that's why I think it would work particularly well in this style, because it's going to give you a nice shape on the um, skirt of this dress, um, but it's also going to work well for um, this straight sleeve. So with this style, you've either got the long straight sleeve or you've got a shorter sleeve um, with a little puff and a little cuff. And I think that's going to be gorgeous. If you've got a summer party to go to or a wedding, that might be a really great choice for you. Moving on from that, we have got Style Arc's Asher dress. Now, I think this dress screams designer um, high street. Um, you've got some shearing, so you've got a new technique maybe you can use. You've got a shearing effect around the waist and around the cuff, and you've got a little bit of gathering around the neckline. So we need a really lovely, soft handled fabric for our shearing. So I've gone for this lovely, silky um, polyester here. I think it's great because it's a kind of abstract design, but it looks a little bit am animal print um, and it's a great mix of colours. It's beigey in the background, but it's got some really vibrant purples and blues in it. And I think would, would look stunning in this style. Um, and it just gives us another really interesting sleeve to work with that's got this shearing detail around the cuff that you don't see very often on commercial patterns. So again, with Style Arc, as I've said before, um, you just need to watch your sizing because there's two different um, pattern variations depending on your sizing. So we've got four to 16 on one pattern and the 18 to 30 on the other pattern. So those three patterns are my top picks for if you want a special occasion dress to test your skills with something a little 
little bit more complicated. They're my three top picks and we'd love to see at Minerva which ones you choose and which fabrics you make them up in. So be sure to share your results with us. So I also wanted to share a couple of jumpsuit patterns with you that have fabulous sleeves. Jumpsuits are really popular at the moment and I thought it was great to just have a little look what sleeve options we've got on some of the patterns that we stock at Minerva. So I've got two patterns to share with you. The first one is um, a McCall's pattern. Again, the sizes of split, so just be careful about which um, pattern variation you buy. We've got one that covers sizes 6 to 14, and we've got a second one that covers sizes 14 to 22. So quite a wide size, ra size range, but you just need to be careful about which one you, you select when you're popping it in your basket. Um, and I chose this pattern because I think it's got some really pretty sleeve options and different variations that you can make. So we've got um, a full length sleeve here with a bell bottom base to it. Or we have a version that's shown here on the top, but you could easily put it on your jumpsuit um, that's got this gathered in cuff, giving you a full length puffed sleeve. Obviously, if sleeves aren't your thing, then you could go for the sleeveless version as well. Now, this is a really nice jumpsuit. It's fitted um, around um, the torso, um, but it's got a lovely full base to it with gathers in the trouser section and in the... Um, bust section or the body section. So we're going to need a really lovely soft fabric to do that. And at Minerva, we carry um, a wide range of viscoses, which are great for this um, job because they're going to be really comfortable to wear, um, but they've got a really soft drapey handle. So they're going to gather and create this lovely fluted sleeve or the puffed uh, effect on the um, leg of the trouser is going to work really well with this sort of fabric. So I've just chosen a viscose with um, a black background with a little white spot, um, but it does come in other colorways and there are other viscoses that you might um, think suits your needs better, but we'd love to see what you've been making um, from um, this pattern. So please share them with us on our website because we always love to see what you've come up with and how you've personalized um, our fabric and our patterns to suit your needs. The second one that I've chosen is a Vogue pattern. And I think this is a great holiday or lovely going out for the evening style jumpsuit. Um, great for beginners. You've got this grown on kimono style sleeve and wide leg trouser, but a relatively simple make. So if you're new maybe to making trousers or new to sewing, this might be the style for you. And because I think this style would be great for an evening out where you're kicking back um, and enjoying company or maybe on holiday, I've chosen this really fun print, um, which is Scenes of Venice. Um, it's on again it's on a viscose base so it's got a lovely soft drapey handle and who couldn't feel relaxed or on holiday wearing this Vogue jumpsuit made out of this fabric I think it would look absolutely fab So finally, I thought we would have a little look at some different tops. We carry a wide range of um, top patterns 
um, on, at Minerva. And I just wanted to show you my top picks and just look at the range of sleeves and what your options might be um, if you're looking for a top pattern. So the first two patterns that I want to share with you are patterns that have a bit more of a casual feel about them. Um, the first one is McCall's 8024 um, and it's a really um, simple little top with um, a bat wing sleeve in two different lengths. Now this is a great make if you're a beginner and particularly if you're a beginner and maybe want to try your hand at working with a um, jersey fabric. This might be a great place to start um, because you've only got a front and back, you've got a grown on sleeve so you're limiting the amount of different um, pattern pieces that and seams that you have to work with, but it would be a great introduction to Jersey. Now I've chosen this great fun print. It's um, got a um, velour finish to it. You can see it's got a little bit of stretch to it, but not too much. Um, and it's got a nice drape to it. You're going to need the drape. If we have a little look at this pattern, you've got quite a lot of fabric underneath your arm that's falling into a drape. So you're going to need something um, that creates that drape. And I think this fabric would do that for you and make a lovely kind of cozy, casual, fun top. The second um, more casual style that I wanted to share with you is Grain Lines Lidden Sweatshirt. So an absolute classic. Um, there's a short sleeve, more t-shirt style um, raglan, or there's the full length raglan. Um, you could make this up in a lighter weight fabric and get more of a t-shirt look. But here I've gone for, how gorgeous is this color by the way, I have gone for a lovely coral um, uh, French terry fabric. So we've got the looped pile on the back and the smooth fr front. It's not too thick and it's not too stretchy. So again, um, an ideal fabric for a beginner is if, if it's your kind of one of your first ventures into working with stretch. And at Minerva, we carry... Um, the coordinating um, rib. So here I've got rib in the in a matching colorway that you can um, use around the the base of your um, t shirt or sweatshirt. So again, a really simple style, maybe a good practice of doing a neckline, but you've got this classic raglan style sleeve. Um, to work with and I think this um, fabric would be great for a beginner and this style would be great for a beginner but if you're a bit more advanced it is a great classic staple style and pattern for you to have in your collection. And then finally I've got three tops for you um, which would, could be worn casually, could be worn to work um, but all have um, some really interesting sleeve options and they're ones that really stood out to me when I was looking at which patterns to share with you from our range at Minerva. So the first one is a Megan Nielsen pattern, um, her dove blouse. Um, and I chose this pattern um, because I thought it was an absolute classic with a little bit of a difference. So um, you've got quite a simple v-necked bodice um, design with a, a, a shaped hemline but then you've got some options for the sleeve all the sleeves are set in but you have the short straight sleeve and then there are two add-ons if you like to the short sleeve that give you a flared um, base and then a much more flared kind of fluted base and I've chosen this lovely soft um, linen because I think that would make um, a beautiful version of um, this dove blouse. 
um, and would be an absolute kind of classic staple um, in any wardrobe. My second choice um, I think is a really pretty little blouse. Um, it comes from Simplicity. It's Simplicity Pattern 8601. Um, again, the sizes are split over two different pattern variations. So just be mindful um, which one you pop in your basket when you, when you buy this pattern. But I thought it was a really pretty option. You've got um, a center front seam that allows you to either just have these kind of loose tails that hang down or they can be kind of tied into this knot feature. Um, the knot feature can be carried through to this three quarter length sleeve or you can you've got other sleeve options here which I thought was great that it's all included on one pattern. So it's a set in sleeve but you can either have flared cuff um, a short little bell sleeve that you might want to add some trim around the bottom, so really pretty for summer. Or you've got this um, add-on to the sleeve that gives you the, the fluted end. So there's lots of different, there's five different options here of different sleeves that you can have. So you can really personalise this pattern and make it your own. Now I've chosen this lovely... Um, double gauze in like a pretty little periwinkle blue that's got a sweet little um, silver um, spot wave printed on it. And I chose this one because I thought um, that you could make it up in this um, chevron style um, and have the lines kind of converging down your centre front seam. And I thought it would make a really pretty um, little summer top. And then my final pick is from Butterick. It's Butterick 5861. And I chose this pattern probably as a bit more of an advanced skills pattern, um, but it's got some lovely pleat detail on it. Um, at the head of the sleeve here, you can either have um, just a flat panel or you can do this pretty pleated detail um, over the head of the sleeve and have a matching pleated detail down the front. Um, or there's another option where you can have pin tucks down the front. So you've got a couple of options there and I think it just makes a really pretty, easy over jeans, over trousers kind of top. Um, it's got a raglan sleeve but you've got this extra detail to really kind of show off your skills. You can have a version that's buttoned through all the way down, or you've got this more smock detail with this pleat that matches, matches your sleeve. Um, and again, the sleeves, you've got different length sleeve. You can have a sleeve option that just falls below the elbow, or you can have the full length sleeve with the cuff. Now, because I was thinking about how you would best show off all your hard work about putting in um, the pleat detail, I've gone for a plain fabric and it's this lovely soft mauve um, in like a moss crepe. And I think that would look really um, lovely, pleated up and really show all your hard work when you've pleated up and made all that detail that's available on this pattern. So again, I'd love to see what you've been doing, or we'd love to see what you've been doing with um, this pattern. So please be sure to share your final makes and all your exquisite pleating with us at Minerva and with our followers on the Minerva website. So I really hope that you found that tutorial useful. Maybe it's highlighted some patterns for you with fabulous sleeves that you might have overlooked. Maybe you've seen some fabrics that you love as well. Whatever, we would love to see the results of your makes at Minerva. So please don't forget to share them on our website and let everybody else see how um, busy you've been and what you've been making. Don't forget, if you join our craft club, you'll get 10% off of 
all of your purchases for that year. So in the meantime, until I see you again, my name's Jamie Lewis.